welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea's Tower Readings. I'm Chelsea. Um, so on this channel, I do daily tower readings if you don't know. So if you're um, very interested in tarot, please subscribe because I guarantee you'll enjoy this channel and we're all just like a big family on here. <laughs> So for today's pick a card, it is going to be what is the mutual vibe between the both of you when you're together? Um, I thought this would be a really cool reading. I actually kind of just thought of it. I was like, wow, this, this sounds good. <laughs> like this sounds good. All right. So I did four piles for this reading, starting from the far left, pile one, two, three, and four. Obviously, choose the pile that you are drawn to. Um, and if you enjoyed this reading and you would like to book a more personal, go to the link on your screen now. It's really easy and it's an interactive video just like this one. So yeah, fun. Um, and I'll post the timestamps in the description as well as the comments. And yeah, guys, please just give a big like if you enjoy this video. And I let's get to it. So, what is the mutual vibe like when you're both together? Um, so, already, I love, love, love these cards. There's so much nurturing in this reading. I feel right off the bat, you're both very empathetic with each other for sure. Um, so we'll start over here. We have the inner queen. And this has to do again with caring for others because it's about having that divine feminine, but as well as in the masculine partner. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, it's about having empathy for each other. Patience tells me that there's definitely a very calming, a very peaceful presence. You both are you both basically try to let go of any control issues about what you'll say next or um what'll happen next. I feel you both kind of try to let go of that and allow it to unfold naturally, as it says. And then we have the tarot cards, which are again, it's so crazy because we have the Empress and we have the inner queen here. Um, and we also have, by the way, the Queen of Pentacles. I pulled a couple more, but we'll start with these. We have the Devil, which um, is telling me only because I have the Empress here. Um, and by the way, we have a Knight of Swords, so this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is a deep desire for each other. You're both very sexually attracted, and I feel that energy definitely also comes out between you two. The Knight of Swords tells me that, again, there's there's something about patience. Like, you both try to have patience. Maybe you both kind of want the situation to move forward, even if you're not aware of it consciously, you know? So yeah, Knight of Swords and the Empress, I feel, again, this person just wants to, either or, obviously, wants to be with you because, um, or be near you because of, again, all of this loving and nurturing energy. So that's definitely what I get with these cards. Then, lovely, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So again, lovely. Again, there's a nurturing female here, but it's coming from the both of you because you both care for each other. The Nine of Cups telling us that this person cares very deeply for you and you're both, <clears throat> you both get that mutually content vibe with each other for sure. Um... So, what else can I say? I'll pull one more romance card. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. What I tell you? New love. So, yeah. You guys are trying to take it, like, slow. Um, I feel when you're together, you try and take it slow. Because, um... I feel though you both definitely want a new love or this could actually be a new love 
And again, this is the vibe that you definitely both have together. This is the energy. New love. So yeah, just like very romantic. Um, and also the feeling of new love is like intense too and very passionate. It is. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was pile one. That's all I really have to say. It's such a good vibe. So I really like this pile. Um, hopefully the others are as positive as this one. Um, but yeah, guys, if this resonated, please hit like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video uh, those of you who chose this pile i'm like laughing because the song like uh like i looked at this pile and i was like laughing because i was singing that song that I forgot who it's by but it's called listen to your heart <laughs> and i was like singing it anyways screw you guys because now it's stuck in my head so <laughs> get that out the way um so what is the mutual vibe when you guys are together? First of all, I feel very intense. <laughs> very intense. Wow, I'm like sweating. We have revelation. So there, you both come, there's like some, you both guys, you both come to some sort of revelation with each other. Like some kind of knowing and some kind of truth that's on a mutual scale. The world and the goddess of the moon again you both like you both kind of like very back and forth with this intuitive energy in the world card being open there's also you both are probably very open with each other and again like i said truthful with the revelation card goddess of the moon following your intuition this is also to me very kind of like peaceful but maybe wary energy but all positive and oh my god it doesn't surprise me because we also have a feminine stone um pile this reminded me of pile one so maybe if you guys chose a couple piles for some of you so we have honeymoon this person and you have this mutual feeling that like it's honeymoon is such um it's unexplainable it's an unexplainable um i've never been on a honeymoon but again it's like a honeymoon feeling that's what i get you both enjoy your time together there's a very blissful feeling when you both come together and you're open and you're honest with each other and you're spewing uh what's really in your heart listen to your heart <laughs> no i really don't sing that bad that was a joke all right so we have Judgment, Hierophant, and Queen of Swords. Again, with the Queen of Swords, I'm feeling there is some sort of tense energy. There is some pent-up energy with the Queen of Swords. So there is that element of seriousness. Judgment and Hierophant tells me again, Major Arcana, this is something serious. There is strong energy. You both have this mutual vibe that you're being open and honest with, e with each other. And... I just get the feeling with the higher font. Again, you both are on the same page. That's a book. Get it? Seriously, you're both on the same page. I didn't plan that, by the way. Just letting you know. So I'm just good like that. All right. So then we also have the Five of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Again, oh my gosh, guys. So the Five of Cups was like tea drama. This is the plot twist, though. Both of you also feel some sort of deep loss when it comes to each other so maybe there is something that's pent up with both of you and maybe it has to do with that like maybe you're all honest about everything else except that with also the knight of cups so you're also very romantic with each other for sure there's that element of romance and swoon and again also with the knight of cups it does um correlate with the honeymoon card quite yeah quite well um but again, this Five of Cups got me, guys, because there is that element both of you feel where it's like you're both emotionally unbalanced, I feel, a little bit. Um, feeling of regret, feeling of loss, feeling of disconnect. Well, no, actually not disconnect, because you guys are very connected. <laughs> um, wow. So, again, this is very strong, strong energy. Oh, by the way, I'll point out some signs just in case we have a water sign male um young so this would be pisces cancer scorpio 
and a young air sign female so this would be a gemini libra or aquarius or again it could be someone that fits these traits quite well because it all depends on the rest of their birth chart all right so yeah guys um i really hope this reading resonated with you if it did please give a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next pile one. three <laughs> i must admit this is some deep energy oh this, are, this is a lot like it, it's very heavy energy like pile two but it's different so we have spear of the guru mother this talks about success there could be success i feel when the both of you come together this energy is lingering that there could be some sort of success between the both of you and you both feel it are like you know what i'm saying envy um crazy you both envy stuff about each other um you both are also trying to free yourselves at the same time because it's like maybe maybe there's a reason but Dude, okay, I kind of want to look, <laughs> sorry, I kind of want to look at the Envy card, kind of get a closer look, you know what I'm saying? So let's, yeah, it talks about lack. Oh my god, yeah, it talks about this card upright is telling you, obviously, to let go of the jealousy and acknowledge the blessings you already have. Um, yeah, that's so interesting. So there might be some sort of like little aspect to that. I feel it also could just be one of you or yeah, because it could be like one of you envy something different about each other. Like you could always envy something different. Like, like say if one of you envies the other person, maybe you both again envy each other. It's so weird. But at the same time, you're trying to free each other. With the Ten of Wands, there could have been an ending here, obviously. Um, maybe it was, it was definitely tough for the both of you, actually, because we also have the Three of Swords. Uh, you both went through, like, this deep freaking heartache, dude. Page of Swords, King of Cups. Um, there's a lot. There definitely, when you both are together, there is a lot of communication. And King of Cups, there is exchange of feelings even though it's not much there is still that exchange of feelings but it's just so weird this energy so yeah um just trying to also be uh, okay also too with the king of cups uh, um, you try to, both of you try to maintain composure, which is also kind of weird. Like, you both somehow tighten up. Um, so weird. So then, we also have engagement. Um, so maybe one of you is engaged. Um, and again, I feel... However, like with victory, it reminds me of this card, Spear of the Guru Mother, because it talks about a slight chance. Um, but it's very possible. There's a high possibility. It, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I feel you both feel there could be victory in this connection, but there's something. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords, yep. There's something that you're both not, or there's like, again, this is mutual energy, so well. Hmm. Yeah, like, it's just, like, you both are on a journey, like, you're both at the same time like there's that energy that you both maybe feel that you're moving on or that you have to move on because of something again maybe one of you is like it, with someone else or you know something along those lines and hard choice oh yeah so with the 
Two of Swords, it actually talks about hard choices. So again, there's that tightness energy where there's a very hard choice. So again, that's very crazy. Um, but again, it's so it's it is crazy because like there's again there's that a lot of pain too, obviously with the Three of Swords, but oh damn. Shoot. Okay, and I feel also with the we have the eight of swords and the three of cups So there's also a feeling again. Maybe you're both holding something back I definitely feel you're both holding something back because I feel maybe you both don't want to admit to each other that there could be Victory between the both of you in this connection. I feel for some reason you both don't want to admit that eight of swords you're both really trying not to open up too much I mean, maybe again it could truly not be mutual for a little bit of it so maybe it could just be one of you that really isn't opening up maybe that but however these cards should at least resonate these three well these four should resonate five <laughs> sorry um three of cups you both have so much fun together i must say <laughs> um you two definitely do have such a fun joyful time together that's for sure um, however, again, with the Eight of Swords, holding back something, um, not saying something, it's just crazy. Like, this pile's all over the place. Um, wow. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's crazy. All right. Well, that was pile three. Very interesting. Um, I hope this resonated, uh, at least if anything, if it does, at least you kind of get a deeper look into it. And if you didn't really realize the energy of the other person, now you kind of know, you know? Okay. Because again, it could be more of the other person. So even though it's mutual energy, there's going to be you in here, right? But then also, so again, maybe you realize there's victory. They pro Again, they probably, they do too. Otherwise, it wouldn't show up. However, maybe some of the other cards have to do with them. So maybe they don't open up fully. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun, enjoyment, definitely. Happiness. Um, crazy. Okay, so that was pile of three. Um, again, give this a like if it resonated. Subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hello, those of you who chose the fourth pile. So what is the mutual energy or vibe when you're both together? <sighs> okay, so we do have good vibes here. <laughs> Maybe the codependency is the only thing that you both kind of... It's not a bad thing. I mean, it. it's like sort of a bad thing, but it's like you both feel codependent on each other. You both see the value in each other as well. Um, I don't think it's... Obviously, this is love, so I, I don't think it has to do with monetary um, reasons. But you both definitely see the value in one another. I do love that. Okay, we have sensitivity. So I think you both would be very sensitive together um, as a connection. There's, yeah, so there's a sensitive energy and with the Ace of Pentacles, again, maybe there's like this, I do get earthy energy, so maybe there's this mutual vibe that you both like, there's opportunities for both of you with the Two of Wands, again, maybe you both picture something with each other for sure, with the Death card. It does talk about transformation and next to the Six of Pentacles. Again, there's lots of Earth energy, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But maybe you both would be very giving to each other, exchange of compliments. Again, talk about, talk about what could be. Then we have the Page of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the two fours, which actually are good omen and tarot spread. So 
Page of Wands again. Um, I I saw with this crystal that I, I knew right away it was going to have to do with passion. So there's obviously that mutual attraction to each other and sexual chemistry. The Ten of Pentacles again. It's so many pentacles. And then the four of pentacles. So page of wands also would be fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Ten of pentacles again. You both would talk about like like the vibe would be like, you know, wow, I could like be with this person. Four of swords again, having a very peaceful and calm energy because as you know, the four of swords is about like not really having to think about anything too serious, and. The Four of Pentacles is about not wanting to let the person go. So there's also that mutual energy of physically and obviously probably emotionally not letting each other go. And I also noticed too with the um, Six of Pentacles that again you both want to give to each other. And it could be like actual things. Um material things but again as well as emotional because i also again pay attention to the illustrations i actually do love the illustrations with this deck because it's very simplistic but it's beautiful at the same time and there's like also hidden things so notice like the heart and the hand um giving in a mutual exchange of both energy time yeah okay yeah definitely with energy and time because also with pentacles it reminds me again of like realistic thinking so and again being like down to earth also again with down to earth energy it's about um just again being real with each other and again we also have sensitive so there's also the sensitive aspect of the vibe when you both are with each other let's pull one more angel card oh i've got two interesting so we also have release your ex and let your friends help you so maybe you both um have the feeling that you both kind of need to release your exes as well as again letting um also if you are the ex um interesting let your friends help you like okay so i'll do this one first You both want to, I feel, because you both are very friendly with each other, I feel. And you do want to have support and ask for advice from this person as well as you. So as well as like vice versa. And again, this probably won't resonate with everyone, but I'll see what else we can get because again this is like the mutual energy so release your ex so it could be like some feelings lingering there and again i did say in the last pile too it could just resonate with one of you but there's still that energy there and also yeah about clearing some kind of energy as well from the past so maybe that's what that has to do so obviously if you've been with them maybe it's also just about clearing the energy from the past um yeah some yeah it's about symbolically oh yeah okay symbolically letting go of yeah so it could be past feelings i again i do get that since we have sensitive energy i feel like since the mutual feeling between the both of you is let your friends help you I feel you both try and help each other again with that. I hope that makes sense because I feel like it's hard to explain. Um, like you both assist each other um, in an empathic way, I just feel. Like you both definitely assist each other.
also like maybe your friends for some of you um helped you meet this person and asking for support from them currently hmm but yeah this might with this energy it could just resonate with one of you and then the let your friends help you again that just tells me i feel that it's both of you being each other's friend because you could be really good friends as well but yeah guys so that was pile four um i hope you guys like this reading if you did please hit that like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye